From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. like there's a big blue reunion in Houston after a blockbuster NBA trade. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Mary Jo Prino. Tonight we're going to talk about the exciting news. Ex-cat John Wall's got a new NBA home and he's meeting up with his partner. That's right. And later we're going to have a uh, cover several football headlines with Jeff Picoro of the UK Sports Network. Now after rumors of John Wall wanting out of Washington, the former UK star now has a NBA home. That's tonight's Big Blue Story presented by Baptist Health. Wall will now team up with former league MVP James Harden in Houston after an all-star guard swap for Russell Westbrook. Wall hasn't played since December of 2018 and he's still owed $132 million over the next three years. He will reunite with former Kentucky teammate DeMarcus Cousins who recently signed a one-year deal with the Rockets and reports are that Boogie's in great shape. Oh, there are going to be a lot of Rockets jerseys sold here in Kentucky. Sold here in Kentucky. As the, as well, there should be because I think honestly the piece that Demarcus was has been missing is John. Yeah. Like keeping him in line when he needs to be yeah. and, and enjoying uh, each other. John Wall hasn't played in forever, yeah. as you mentioned. This is going to be a fresh start for him. I'm so excited. This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun it's to watch those It's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, another big story involving the BBNBA. Former Kentucky big man Anthony Davis has signed a $190 million max deal with the Lakers following LeBron James's decision to remain in L.A. And uh, Keith, uh, yeah. Title's going uh, through the Lakers again. I mean, is he worth it? Uh, no, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is incredible for him, but yeah, it's uh, scary for the rest of the league with yeah. the pieces they've added and the fact that they've now locked up LeBron and Anthony Davis. Ooh, it's going to be a tough team I, to get by. I know. As for the current Kentucky men's team, the Cats are getting ready for Sunday's road game against, uh, you can't say it any other way, a bad Georgia Tech team, which is maybe good news for UK, mm -hmm. right? UK looks to return to the win column after back-to-back -back losses to Kansas and Richmond. And, you know, again, we saw some nice things happen for Kentucky. What I'd like to see is they take that Baylor bench. They're having so much fun yeah. on the bench at Baylor. They need the same thing at Kentucky. They need to get behind each other and have some fun since there aren't any you know, crowd or very low amounts of crowds at these games. We've talked about you've got to generate your yeah. own excitement mm -hmm. there. Kentucky needs to dominate Georgia yeah. Tech. They are not yes, that's a good team at all. Um, so this is hopefully the cure to whatever ails them right now. But they yeah. need, they can't go into this thinking, well, we'll just win this mm -hmm. one. They need to win it. You're big. right. They need a big win. Yeah. You're right. COVID-19 continues to loom over college basketball. UK remains vigilant in trying to avoid it. The Cats are among many teams using contact tracing technology that is sewn into players' uniforms. So if a player does test positive in the days after a game, there is tracking data to know who was the most exposed to the infected person. But Coach Cal still has questions about current testing policies. Where is the continuity? Where is the consistency of what we're supposed to do? None of us know. All we're trying to do is stay safe. I'm wearing sunglasses, mask. I got gloves on the plane. No one leaves a room. But if we're doing that, it's kind of like pollution. We do everything right here and another four countries with billions of people don't. What does it matter what we're doing? Doesn't matter. Meanwhile, the CDC has released new recommendations that would shorten quarantine times for those who may have been exposed to 10 days without symptoms or seven days with a negative test. And Keith, I don't think he's uh, alone. We, there's all sorts of, in every aspect of our lives now. Yeah. It can seem kind of arbitrary about what we should and shouldn't do. We, all we can do is just try our best. It only takes one, right? Yeah. That's all. <laughs> all right, in the NFL, there's mixed news for two ex-cats in Pittsburgh. Running back Benny Snell got to start against Baltimore. And uh, he had a pretty good game. Uh, James Conner was out on the COVID reserve list. Snell ran for 16 times, 60 yards. Also had that good stiff mm -hmm. arm, which was fun to see. And then uh, the Steelers remained undefeated. But linebacker Bud Dupree 
also suffered a torn ACL ending his season. Mary Jo, if there's one injury I could take out of sports, it's that one. I just hate that injury. And, and he wasn't really, he was away from the play, just made a bad misstep. That, that's what's scary is those non-contact injuries mm. are sometimes the hardest yeah. ones to come back from. Teddy Bridgewater, it took him yeah. two years. You know, he wasn't hit. Anyone who's not hit and does that, I just no. feel awful for, um, feel terrible for Bud, too, because they're, you know, they're undefeated. I and, mean, this could be a Super Bowl type And he's playing year. for a franchise kind of money. He's yeah. playing for big time money this Absolutely. year, too. All right, coming up next on BBN Tonight, we'll bring in Jeff Pecoro. Obviously, we're going to talk some football headlines with the UK Sports Network analysts. Stay with us.